so someone sent me this question so this is not a very difficult question but again a pretty lengthy and so i will try my best to explain it but again i'm sorry if it gets a bit too complicated as i don't i'm not aware of any other method so i've tried my best to do using the method i have used so let's get started so again uh, in these type of problems uh, the aim is to identify equipotential points and redraw the circuit in a simplified form so in this question we are required to find the currents so i will be finding out all of them but so first step i am doing is to find all the equipotential points so i have used different colors to represent the different equipotential points so again the first point i have represented by a red color okay and there is only one such point so there are no points equipotential to it so now there are three blue points moving from here so again these three are symmetrically placed with respect to this red point if i move a uh, one unit in any direction i'll reach this these points so i have colored them by blue again these are symmetric with the respect to this red point so these must be equipotential so again moving on from this blue uh, from the blue dots or blue points uh, if i move like from red one unit along the outer edge and one unit along the basically the center line i can call it i reach the black similarly here uh, if i move one unit towards blue and then one unit towards the center i reach black so if, again if i go one unit blue then one unit down towards the center i reach black so doing this i get three blacks because all these three are symmetrically placed with respect to uh, you, i can say the red point that is one unit along the outer edge and one unit towards the center again which is true for all of these black points so you can verify it also so these black points are also equipotential then same for these purple points uh, these are diagonally opposite uh, this purple point is diagonally opposite uh, this purple point is also diagonally opposite from the red point and similarly the third one also so these three are also symmetric so these three would also be equipotential uh, now which is left so let's say a dark green one so again if i move straight towards any edge i get one green point straight towards the other edge other green points straight towards the downward edge another green point so these three dark green points are also equipotential similarly this light green point is obviously there is only one such point so uh, no other point is equipotential to it then there is this light blue points again uh, one unit away, away from the green point so these three light blue points are also equipotential then these orange ones also again diagonally opposite or one unit towards the edge and one unit towards the center so i get three orange points and similarly there would be six this maroon kind of points or dark red or brownish red whatever so again you can be found by moving two units towards the edge and one unit towards the other edge uh, two units here one is down two units here one unit towards the right two units here one left one down similarly six such points again obtained by symmetrical movement and you can see these all have symmetrical surroundings as well so now i have identified the equipotential points now the next step is to redraw the circuit in a simplified form so i have done it here again it might look a bit complicated but it's not so complicated uh, again so firstly starting from the red point which is the initial point i have next drawn the blue point and again there are three such resistors three uh, red to blue connections so three such resistors here and then from blue there are two other points uh, the black and the gr dark green so i have drawn dark green and this is the black so again from blue to dark green there are three connections and blue to black there are six connect connections you can see from this diagram so i get three here six here so sim similarly doing all of that i have redrawn the circuit
so sorry so now i've redrawn the circuit again i'm not explaining all of this but you can refer to this diagram and then you can basically see that these are all the connections that are possible and again i verified the number of these uh, these registers is same as the number of the side basically the line join, joining any two points so again this would be the circuit and it's a bit complicated but uh, this is the only way i think or which i know of of solving this question so again i have tried uh, drawn each individual register but that is not really required you can draw it in a simplified form which i've drawn here so between red and blue there were three resistors so equivalent resistance should be r by three assume r is resistance of one line similarly again redrawing the circuit in simplified form i get this r by 3 r by 6 again 6 means that there were six connections 3 means that there were three connections again so this is now sim a simple dc circuits problem so again you, as you can see if i further simplify it in this diagram if you look at it there is perpendicular symmetry here so again i can separate it at this point because there would be no exchange of current you can say so again this would act as if uh, it was not connected to the red point at all so now again simplifying these this i get r here and simplifying the lower part i get 5r by 9 so now this is a very simple circuit if i current was flowing in this so basically i current is given so i would be flowing in this r by 3 and then 5i by 4 through r and 9i by 14 5i by 14 through r and 9i by 14 through 5r by 9 so again uh, drawing the currents in this diagram i get in i here and 5i by 14 9i by 14 and all these current distributions i have drawn again here it would be again parallel distribution so 6i by 14 and 3i by 14 i get so now the next step is now we are very close to the answer now we just have to see uh, what the final connections are so again here as you can see i should go to the original diagram again so i1 is basically between blue and black and i2 is between black and this maroon or brown so again i have drawn which is the basically the start point and which is the end point of all these uh, connections and i mentioned the current so for example i1 was between blue and black between blue and black current is 9i by 14 and this is distributed among six resistors so here there were six resistors in between so if total current is 9i by 14 then current to each resistor would be one sixth so it would be 9i by 14 divided by 6 so i get 3i by 28 similarly for i can calculate it for all the 10 uh, branches or the 10 uh, currents i can calculate and then and then we just have to check the options so as you can see uh, all four options are correct here so again this was a very lengthy question i would say okay not very conceptually difficult if you are aware of how to solve such problems but again a very lengthy question to do an exam i would say so such type of concept might be asked but uh, i don't think exact same question could come but again they could ask you uh, some simplified version of this like maybe the d part is a bit simpler you don't have to calculate and just derive a relation so you can see it using this diagram a simplified diagram which is again a bit tedious but uh, not so lengthy so okay so this is my solution if you know of any other method that is quicker than this so please do mention it and share it to anyone you know who might uh, need some help in this question so again thank you and subscribe to my channel please